Even amid all his legal challenges, Donald Trump has a secret weapon in his drive to win the Republican presidential nomination next year. Polling strongly suggests he has transformed the GOP primary electorate in a way that will make him harder to beat. Since Trump's emergence as the GOP's dominant figure in 2016, the college-educated voters generally most skeptical of him have declined as a share of all GOP primary voters. While the voters without a college degree generally most sympathetic to him have increased, an array of public and private polls indicate. Those changes suggest Trump has set in motion what could prove a self-fulfilling prophecy. Compared to when he first captured the nomination in 2016, He's encouraged more participation in the Republican primaries by the blue-collar voters most inclined to support him and less by the white-collar voters likely to become the centerpiece of any coalition against him. There's no question about it, says longtime GOP pollster Witt Ayers. He has drawn people into the Republican Party who are more likely to support him and people like him and he has driven out of the Republican Party people who were more likely to support candidates George W. Bush, John McCain and Mitt Romney. This transformation of the Republican electorate is critical because attitudes in the GOP about Trump vary enormously along educational lines. What political analysts have often termed the divide between well-educated, wine track, and non-college educated, beer track, voters. In the latest CNN national poll conducted by SRSS, for instance, almost three-fifths of Republicans without a four-year college degree said nominating Trump again would give the party its best chance of winning in 2024. In stark contrast, two-thirds of Republicans with a college degree said the party would have a better chance if it chose someone else. The conundrum for Republicans is that while the influence of college-educated adults is diminishing inside the GOP primary, those voters have become a growing obstacle for the party in general elections. The rejection of Trump, and Trump-style candidates, in well-educated suburbs across the country has been a central factor in the mostly disappointing election results for the GOP in 2018, 2020 and 2022. The Democratic landslide in last week's state Supreme Court election in Wisconsin, a state the GOP likely must win back to recapture the White House next year, underlined the party's continuing erosion in such places, especially amid the sharpening debate over abortion rights. The changing nature of the GOP coalition compounds the party's problems of winning back those suburban voters. The shift toward a more blue-collar primary electorate advantages the candidates like Trump emphasizing precisely the slashing culture war messages that are alienating those general election voters. Probably the best long-term data set capturing the shifting dimensions of the Republican electoral coalition is polling by the GOP firm Public Opinion Strategies. Each year, it accumulates the results of all the polls it conducts for media clients including The Wall Street Journal, NBC and CNBC to produce a large sample picture of the two parties' supporters. This annual merged data shows some significant changes over the past decade among the voters who identify with the GOP, according to a detailed breakdown the firm provided to me. In the past data, the party is getting somewhat grayer. In 2012 it found that 43% of all Republicans were aged 55 or older. That figure rose to 50% in 2022, the latest annual compilation. Over that same period, the party moved modestly to the right, with the share of GOP voters who identify as very conservative edging up from 34% in 2012 to 38% in 2022. On other key dimensions, the party didn't change much. In 2022, as in 2012, men constituted a slight majority of all GOP partisans, a stark contrast from the electorate overall, where women are the majority. And voters of color represented about one in eight party members, virtually unchanged from 10 years ago. But one change in the GOP electorate was more dramatic than any other, says GOP pollster Bill McKinterf, one of the firm's partners the growth of non-college whites as a percentage of self-identified Republicans. In 2012, the firm found, those whites without a college degree constituted 48% of all Republicans, only slightly more than whites with a college degree, who represented 40%. By 2016, when Trump was first nominated, the gap between the two groups had widened, with the non-college whites rising to 56% of all Republicans, and the college-educated whites falling to 33%. In the 2022 results, the whites without a college degree soared to 62% of all GOP partisans, 
while the college-educated whites sagged to 25 percent. Looking at all GOP supporters, including the relatively small number who are racial minorities, the group without a college degree rose from 56% in 2012 to 70% in 2022, Poss found. What makes this shift even more striking is that over that same period, whites without a college degree have generally declined as a share of the total electorate by about two percentage points every four years. According to figures from the Census Bureau and other data sources such as the projections by the Democratic targeting firm Catalyst, that means the non-college whites have been increasing their presence inside the GOP while they were shrinking overall, as American society grows both more racially diverse and better educated.